Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable! I'm so excited I could scream. After the usage tutorial for in stitch was released last time, we got flood requests coming in. Thank you all so much for the incredible enthusiasm. Some of you even messaged me asking for more doodle videos. Here we go! Today, I'm gonna show you how to doodle adorable giraffe using InStitch. First, import a giraffe image and use it as a reference to start digitizing. Click on image transparency in the top menu and lower the offsetting. Then, lock the image by clicking stitch list so it doesn't move around while we work. First, let's draw the giraffe's horns. Click on color, then pick a shade that matches the giraffe's horns. This brown looks great. Next, use fill stitch to trace along the edge of the horn. Repeat the same steps for the other horn. Room in a litter. You might notice edges of the fear stitches look a bit rough. No worries. Just click Modify Stitches from the top menu and use the anchor points to fine tune the shape. One tip Make the fear shape about 2 mm wider than the original outline. This helps prevent shifting or shrinking when the design is embroidered, just like I'm doing here. Once you have got the shape looking the way you want, go to Adjustment Stitch Angle and drag the handles to adjust the stitch direction. Repeat the same steps for the second antler. Now that both shape and direction are good, let's choose the right stitch type. Click Parameter and for out shapes like this, we usually go with tatami stitch. Then go to underlay and set the first underlay to zigzag. These settings aren't fixed, so feel free to adjust them based on your design needs. Once the settings are done, our future stitch will use these parameters by default. Now just copy these settings over to the first antler as well. And that's it. The antlers are done. Hide them for now so they don't get in the way. Next, let's move on to the giraffe's ears. Pick a nice shade of yellow for the brush. Oh wow, there are so many similar colors here. I need to take a moment and carefully choose the exact one I want. Once you have got the perfect yellow, Use fill stitch to outline the shape of the giraffe's ear. If the fill stitch doesn't match the image exactly, no stress. Click modify stitch and tweak the shape little by little. Okay, it looks much better after adjustment. Click adjustment stitch angle to modify stitch direction. Be sure to set a stitch angle that difference from underlying layer to avoid alignment issues and ensure better coverage. Repeat the same steps for the other ear. Super simple, right? All done with the horns. Now, let's move on to the upper part of the giraffe's face using the fear stitch tool. The lines are pretty simple here. Just take your time and carefully trace along the edges of the shape. Click Modify Stitches and move the anchor points to match the original shape. Then use Adjustment Stitch Angle to refine the stitch direction. All done! Next up is the giraffe's body. Since it is also yellow, we don't need to change brush colors. Yeah, for saving time. Use fill stitch to carefully follow the body outline. When you are done, use modify stitch to align the anchor points with the body's curves. And again, adjust the stitch direction 
using an adjustment seat angle. At this point, we have repeated this process six times. So, I bet you are getting pretty comfortable with it by now. Now, let's head back up and switch to a yellow brush for the next part. Alright friend, time for round 7. Use fill stitch to add the yellow parts inside the ears. Hide the parts we have already done so we can see clearly. Then switch to the circle fill setting in fill stitch and create a draft to cute little blush pots. Turn off the circle fill setting and let's draw the lower part of the giraffe's face. For the giraffe's brown spots, switch to a brown color and draw the spots all over the body. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! I would totally buy a plush toy that looks like this. After all the spots are drawn, use modify stitch to fine tune the ankle points for each one. During this process, you can also use an adjustment stitch angle to adjust a different angle for each spot. That way, the embroidered piece will turn out super fun and unique. Alright, now let's work on the giraffe's eyes. First, switch the brush to white. Use fill stitch to create a white base layer for the iron. Then, on top of that, draw a white papier. This will make the embroidered piece look more three-dimensional, lively and much more detailed. Do the same for the right eye. I want to repeat the steps here. Now, let's use modify stitch to fine tune the details. Okay, we are done. Now, switch the brush to black and let's draw the other parts of the eyes. The familiar routine. Use fill stitch to outline the general shape. Use modify stitch to adjust the specific details. Now, use adjustment stitch angle to tweak the stitch direction. I'm sure you are excited to try this out. Once the eyes are done, let's open up all the stitches and check to make sure only the black outline parts are left. Use center line stitch to trace the outline of the giraffe's face. Ha ha ha! It's kind of look like a bearded giraffe right now. Let's fix that. Select the beard. Open parameter. Find the Ys and reduce the stitch wise, that should fix it. You can turn off stitch improve and underlay, or leave them on. It really depends on your personal preference. After setting the stitch parameters, select modify stitches to adjust the position of the stitches. Just like that. You have got a nearly perfect outline for the face. Let's finish the rise of the head outlines. Ear, antler, ear, center face line, mouse. Perfect! Now let's tweak the mouse a little. In parameter, turn on rounded start and the rounded end. This makes the mouse corners rounder and give it a friendlier look. Lower wise a bit too, so it looks smaller and more delicate. Adjust the ankle points on each one. Honestly, I don't know why, but pulling each ankle point into place feels so satisfying to me. It's like in border therapy. Next, let's reset the parameters back to their origin settings. Continue using center line stitch to break the giraffe's body into straight sections 
one by one. Don't forget to modify stitches afterward to align everything, just like I'm doing here. Of course, if you are more experienced, you can draw the whole body line in one go and then fine tune it after. Now, room in on the little tail. You center line stitch again to draw it. This shape is a bit tricky, but I will do it this way. Now, let's adjust the positions of these stitches. Then, enable rounded start and rounded end so that the beginning and the end of the stitches become rounded, just like in the image. Good point! For some lines, the start doesn't need to be rounded, so don't forget to turn off rounded start where it's not needed. Alright, now for the last part, the body spots. Use center line stitch to outline each spot from top to bottom. Then use modify stitch to refine the small details. One important tip. Go into stitch list and adjust the stitch order of the spots that are close to the body's outline. You want to make sure the body outline is stitched last, so it sits nicely on top of everything else. That way, the final embody will look super clean and polished. And that's it! The entire giraffe design is now digitized and ready to go. Wasn't that super easy? Now, let's check out our final result of our digitizing work. First, we will use in-stitch Wi-Fi transfer feature to send our design straight to the inboard machine. Just like that, it's uploaded. Let's start stitching. Can you believe it? From doodle to embroidery, the whole process took just one hour. I'm seriously amazed. If you are into embroidery designs too, head over to cloud.instit.com. It is totally free and super easy to use. Give it a try. I can't wait to see what you'll create.